plastics, formaldehyde, tar, even gasoline, all things you wouldn't want to put in your body. But could your favorite skincare products actually contain these ingredients? Did you know there may be toxic trespassers lurking in your medicine chest? According to a recent U.S. research report, one in eight of the 82,000 ingredients used in personal care products are industrial chemicals. And since we absorb up to 60% of what we put on our skin, those chemicals may be the cause of certain health problems. So the next time you reach for your favorite shampoo or natural beauty product, take another look at the label and check out what it could be doing to your skin. And here to talk more about toxic skincare ingredients is naturopathic doctor, Dr. Trevor Cates. Welcome to the show. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. So we need some help here. I guess there's some dangerous stuff out there. Yes, there is. And we, you know, you show some of these chemicals up here already, but there, there are so many toxins in our skincare products. And we use on average nine personal care products every day. That exposes us to 126 unique ingredients. He doesn't. Well, maybe a little less for guys. So what's the first one we should look out for? Well, one of them is formaldehyde releasers. And yes, we know that formaldehyde is toxic. It's known to cause cancer. And it's used in skin care. They're, they're called formaldehyde releasers. I mean, it's embalming fluid. Yeah, they are so toxic. That's not good. No. No, they're not. And so what happens is when we use chemicals with formaldehyde releasers on, we put them on our skin, formaldehyde releases into the air around us, and we're breathing it in. And we know formaldehyde is most toxic when we inhale it. Which makes me feel really great about Anatomy Lab, where I literally inhaled formaldehyde for hours on end. <laughs> Yes. I hope that's not. I hope that's not what's steaming back there. That we're through. <laughs> you and I have inhaled so much formaldehyde. It would <laughs> so, so what are the things? Because obviously, it's not always just to say formaldehyde. What are the ingredients we should try to stay away from? DMD hydantoin and adenosyl urea. So there are some big names in there that, that people can look for in the ingredient labels. They're not gonna put formaldehyde on the label. So just be aware of these, and we'll have a list of all these on our website as well, but there's another ingredient that we should look out for. Yeah, and that's mineral oil. And mineral oil comes from petroleum, and gasoline is also made from petroleum. <clears throat> So this is definitely not something we want to be putting in our skin. And we know that when it's not properly treated, mineral oil can be carcinogenic. It can cause cancer. And we also know that compounds of mineral oil can build up in our bodies, in our fat, and in certain organs. But the good news is there are alternatives. I don't want to just scare everybody and get, have be doom and gloom. There are natural alternatives. So formaldehyde releasers, for example, they're used as a preservative. And so rosemary leaf extract can be a part of a great natural preservative. We can use things from nature. Argan oil, it's hydrating for the skin. It's nourishing for the skin. So not only is it clean, but it also enhances the skin. It's got naturally occurring vitamin E and vitamin A and other natural ingredients that help hydrate and nourish the skin, keep it clear and great. All right, and, and last gracefully. but not least, I noticed another set of products over there, and you're talking about, as I mentioned earlier, tar and coal yeah. tar and products. Ugh. Yeah, so coal tar is, is oftentimes used in skincare products, and tar is what it comes from, and we know tar is a carcinogen, carcinogen too. Yes. And so it's used in products like shampoos and, and lotions and things to help with itchy, dandruff. scaly, yeah, dandruff and dry skin. Mm -hmm. But we can use natural things like aloe. Aloe is a great hydrator. It comes straight from nature. It doesn't have all those chemical problems, but yet it's got those hydrating, nourishing, healing benefits. Here's what I love about this segment. So we go down the line and we got products over here that you got to have concerns with where you, I'm literally looking at 30 ingredients, hard to pronounce. One ingredient here, one ingredient in this, one ingredient in that. And, and it's just the simplicity of, yeah. oh, the ingredient is almond oil. Yes. Don't it's, have to worry about that. It's so I true. Like it just let's keep it simple. Let's get back to nature. And it's really the things we use on a day-to-day -day basis that make the biggest difference. Well, and, thanks for sharing. Yeah, absolutely. Wonderful tips. <laughs> we'll be right back.